Hello, it's a FM transmitter. It's a kit, a do it yourself, that can be sold on AliExpress. This kit use the, uses the, the QN8066 device. It's a microcontroller that came with the kit and it is my own microcontroller based on Arduino Pro Mini and I have developed an Arduino library that can uh, do more than the original microcontroller. Now I'm going to connect my homebrew uh, controller to the kit and I'm going to use this iPhone to send audio to the transmitter. As you can see here, my homebrew uh, board is connected to the kit and here I have a power supply, 12 volts and a receiver, a regular receiver and a download here and um, the system is ready to start. Now I'm going to show you the system working. This controller, it's a uh, Arduino Pro Mini and uh, LCD and some buttons and here this transmitter working. Now I'm transmitting 107.3 Now I'm going to change some configuration Mega constellations are on the way. Multiple companies are planning to launch thousands of satellites into orbit. Here on the podcast, we've mostly talked about some of the light pollution problems. issues from these many, many flying objects. Their ability to interfere with astronomy, for example. But this, this week in science, staff writer Daniel Clary wrote about a different concern. Pollution from the satellites burning up in the atmosphere. Some distortion has to be there. Yeah, so the and concern here is with deorbiting satellites, intentionally burning them up in the atmosphere of our planet. Is that the only option right now for, you know, when the satellites can no longer do their work, they are, you know, need to be decommissioned? Yes, most satellites, the ones that are in low Earth orbit, such as communication satellites, they need to be got rid of because when they retire, they can potentially collide with other satellites or other bits of which uh, they want to avoid at all costs. So it's standard practice to make them deliberately deorbit and re-enter the atmosphere where they burn up. You know, occasionally a satellite, a fragment of it will reach the surface, but that doesn't happen very often. Mostly they're lightweight materials, they burn up in the atmosphere and they're disposed of. Well. Uh, now you can install this library by using the Arduino IDE or just download it from GitHub repository. All the information about this project are described in the text of this video. Thank you for watching.